What's up guys, Dan here again. Welcome back to another video on the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about Shopify dropshipping and specifically how to make $100,000 with Shopify dropshipping in 2019. Yes, this is true. You might think that $100,000 sounds like a lot. You might think, Dan, you know, $100,000, is that really possible with Shopify dropshipping or with any kind of online business, you know, within a matter of months, maybe six months or maybe even three months, right? And yes, absolutely. And before we even get into the video, before I even get started, uh, I just wanna explain to you, right? So we can get, get rid of those maybe irrational beliefs, irrational fears, or maybe you just don't know about the scope of online business today, like the absolutely amazing opportunities that are available for the person who is willing to learn what is, you know, what other people that are successful with online business are already doing right now as we speak and are making tons of money, are traveling the world and are living their dream lives. And they, you know, they're not enslaved to a nine to five job that they hate. And, you know, best of all, they're living the life that they were meant to be living. And so, like I said, before we even begin, I want you to understand that $100,000 with a Shopify business, in fact, $100,000 with an online business, that's actually a very, you know, it's a very straightforward milestone. Um, in reality, it's it's very like straightforward. It's one of the very first goals that you will achieve. I would say that, okay, so you hit your, you know, first $1,000 and then you hit $10,000 a month. And then, you know, that's already past the $100,000 a year mark, right? So it's a very low level online business goal. So $100,000 a year, that might sound like a lot. And for some reason in our society that is considered, you know, you're wealthy if you're making $100,000 a year, that's six figures a year, right? And I'm talking in US dollars, right? But in reality, you know, it's not that high of a number. And I don't know why, you you know, you're considered wealthy because you know when I hit a hundred thousand dollars with my first online business it was very straightforward and I knew the next step was to hit you know seven figures was to hit a million and to really you know make it a stable like lifelong source of income instead of just kind of okay I hit my hundred thousand dollars now I'm good right so a hundred thousand dollars for some reason it's considered wealthy but let me tell you it's not the case and you know it definitely is an amazing milestone to reach and I just want to, you know, the, the whole point of me telling you this is to explain to you that through Shopify dropshipping, it is extremely possible today in 2019. And actually, it is one of the first, like, base level milestones. You know, when you set up your Shopify store and you get it going, you start getting your sales, you want to hit that $100,000, right? Like, that's the first, like, real milestone where, you know, you can then quit your 9-to-5 job. And that's a stable enough source of income that you can kind of bet on your own uh, abilities now to provide for yourself for the rest of your life through online business, through Shopify dropshipping. So $100,000 dollars a year and I always like to break down my goals because hundred thousand dollars might sound like a lot but in reality if we break it down it's really not that much and I'll explain to you in this video some of the best tactics the best secrets that I personally learned to hit hundred thousand dollars quickly or the fastest way possible right so hundred thousand dollars if we divide that into months and days right if we break it down hundred thousand dollars divided by uh, 300 and, or sorry 12 which is um, you know we have 12 months in a year obviously so that's about eight thousand three hundred thirty three dollars a month right? And if we divide that into days, right? And we're not doing like a nine to five work schedule where, you know, let's say you're only able to work five days out of the week. People only work Monday to Friday, right? With online business, your store is running 24 seven. You're making sales regardless if you're sleeping, if you're traveling, it doesn't matter. That's the beauty of it, right? So that's why we're dividing it into 30 days. And so that equals to roughly $277 a day. And so that really is not at all hard to hit. And I'll explain to you that exactly how, like, and why it's it's really not that hard to hit. And like I said, it's one of the first milestones that you'll experience in your own Shopify dropshipping journey if you commit to this and if you really just commit to it, you know, to making this work in your life. So just for comparison here, just to really make you understand, you know, the scope of what I'm talking about here, uh, $100,000 a year, right, to make that kind of money, that's about $50 an hour at a normal nine to five career job, right? So, you know, I quickly went and looked up some of the jobs that make $50 an hour. And, you know, some examples were like lawyers, judges, um, investment bankers. So like, uh, you know, investment managers, all these kinds of jobs that require these long drawn out university degrees, right? And they also require you to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on your education. And then also not to mention the time that you have to spend, you know, in college, right? And so, you know, the whole point of this, the whole point of this video, the whole point of online business is for you to not have to go through that you know university through college or for you to not have to you know for you to be able to kind of take wherever you are at in your life right doesn't matter where you're at doesn't matter how old you are and for you to be able to take that situation and really just you know create this brand new source of income for yourself which will allow you to have a freedom uh, a lifestyle of freedom right and that's what like I'm all about here the lifestyle of freedom achieving your fullest potential right because freedom will allow you to achieve your fullest potential and Shopify dropshipping is a wealth vehicle that will allow us to do that in fact it's one of the best uh, wealth vehicles here in 2019 next to a few others that I talk about on the channel as well right so you don't want to waste all that money on school like I did right if you're young watching this so don't make the same mistake trust me 
like online business is the way to go. Don't even second guess yourself because it's 2019. You know, just look at the year. Like it's not 1974 right now, right? It's it's 2019. Like that sounds like a futuristic number. And I mean, it really is with the amount of opportunities that are available today to us for the person who is really out there and willing to make a massive change in their life, you know, to allow them to become successful through online business. So to briefly explain what Shopify dropshipping is, in case you don't know, right, I'm just gonna be super quickly before we get into it. Um, with Shopify dropshipping, what you're doing is you're creating a website, you're installing a tool called Shopify on it, super simple, and then what you're doing is you're actually um, starting to sell products on your store. So you're creating like a store, and it's super easy to like, you know, make it look super nice, and then, you know, you get some nice pictures on there, you get a nice layout, right? It's all pretty much like, um, you know, drag and drop pretty much, like it's really simple. And so, um, you know, you can literally sell products in any niche. It can be like literally fishing. Fish, I always say fishing for some reason in all my videos. I don't know, I like fishing, it's cool. Uh, so fishing, it can be tennis, it can be like volleyball, it can be, you know, the outdoors, it can be, every, every single thing I said was the outdoors. I clearly like the outdoors. But it can be anything, you know, it can be like vapes. I don't know if you're interested in, you know, um, what's it called, e-cigarettes, right? So even that, like any niche out there, you can go and you can create a Shopify store and you know, all you have to do is find those customers. And so that's what I'm gonna talk about uh, in this video as well. But pretty much how dropshipping works is once you've created the store, you made it look nice, right? Then you got your Instagram page, you know, you create a social media account for it. And then, you know, you got some pictures going and everything. Then you get a customer to go on your store, right? Through something like Facebook ads or YouTube ads or Google ads, right? And once they're on your store, if they make a purchase, then what happens is you have a Chinese supplier who you find on AliExpress or on Alibaba. Uh, yes, you can actually find um, dropshipping suppliers on Alibaba as well. That's one of my hidden tactics uh, that I've been using for my Shopify stores. And so a lot of them actually do dropshipping as well for cheaper. And so pretty much you find that Chinese supplier and then uh, what happens is they will ship the product directly to your customer. And so therefore you're not taking any kind of upfront risk with you know buying a thousand units at a time, right? Once you have the money, the customer's money, then you pay your supplier um, to send out the, uh, you know, whatever it costs for the product plus the shipping. And then they'll send it out to your customer directly. You don't even see the product. And so that's the beauty of drop shipping. And that's what it is. And so that's why it's awesome because there is literally no upfront risk other than your time. Time, right so unless you're you know really just going for the bulk orders which you know we're not going to talk about here but if you're just doing like drop shipping just like I said it then you know you're not actually spending any money on upfront inventory you're not having inventory sit around and um, you know only when you get paid that's when the supplier gets paid right so there's no risk and it's awesome so now hundred thousand dollars a year on Shopify let's say that uh, you are selling a product on your Shopify store um, and the typical price range, like, you know, very profitable price range for Shopify dropshipping here in 2019, uh, I've discovered is between $30 and $100, right? So let's say you've got a product on there that you're selling for $30. Let's just take the low end of this, right? Because if you're doing like 20 or less, um, that re really doesn't leave you much uh, room for profit unless you find a way to get customers for cheap, right? So unless you have like super awesome ads going out there and you probably won't have like super amazing ads if you're just starting out because you're a beginner with, you know, Facebook ads. And guys, all this stuff you can learn, I start from zero like don't worry right now it might sound complicated but just stay with me here because all like everything you can learn today right as long as you're willing to put the time in you're to put the effort in you're not lazy and you're not just like playing video games instead of you know realizing hey like I can actually make something out of my life right now and I can actually go and like if I just put an effort into this then you know it's gonna work out for me and I'm gonna really change my life and I can help other people as well um, you know through it right as long as you realize that you can learn anything so don't even worry about it all right so let's say you're selling that product for $30 on your Shopify store so that's how much the customer pays for it right well all you have to do to make that $277 a day that we talked about to make hundred thousand dollars a year is just sell ten of those right and then you're at three hundred dollars a day but the problem is that that's in revenue and so there's a very big difference between revenue and profit and now I'm gonna get into how profit is calculated and I'm gonna you know get into how to really make hundred thousand dollars in profit because you know anybody can just go you know throw up a product sell for thirty dollars but if it costs you thirty dollars and you're making zero profit you can still make hundred thousand dollars in the year but you're not gonna make any money so off the top of the revenue, you know, off of that uh, $300 that we make if we sell 10 of those uh, units a day, right? We also have to minus like the cost of the product itself. And then we also have to, you know, what we're paying the Chinese supplier. And then we also have to minus the cost of acquisition, which means we have to take off the um, price that we're paying for our Facebook ads, for example, or for our YouTube ads, or Google ads, or whatever way, you know, online that we're uh, trying to use to get the customer, right? So that costs money. So the cost of the product plus the cost of the ad uh, to get the customer. And then, you know, any kind of shipping that's involved, a lot of the times it's included with the cost of the product. And so those three things are what need to go off the $300 and then that's our profit. So now let's talk about profit. Let's say that our product, 
that we're selling for $30 on Shopify, on our Shopify store, let's say that that product is costing us $8 from our Chinese supplier. So every time we sell our product for $30 on our Shopify store, we have to pay our Chinese supplier $8. Let's say it's $6 for the uh, unit cost, and then it's $2 for shipping, right? A lot of the times they'll just quote you the price with shipping included, so we'll just say eight. So you might think $30 minus $8, uh, that's $22, and that's our profit per unit. Well, no, not yet. We got one more step. We got one more thing we need to subtract from our revenue. And that's how much money we have to spend on our Facebook ad or on our YouTube ad or on our Google ad uh, to acquire that customer. So let's say $8 that we pay to our supplier for the unit cost and then $6. Let's say that $6 is what we're paying to Facebook for um, to acquire a sale for our product, right? So there you go. $30 minus eight minus six. And that leaves us with a profit of $14 per unit. And so it costs us $16 and then, you know, 30 minus 16, that's $14, right? So every single time, we spend six dollars on a Facebook ad and then we also spend eight dollars and we give that to our Chinese supplier and that's from the money that you know that we already received from our customers right so that's not uh, from our pocket up front right we make fourteen dollars in profit per unit and then you know, once you're actually making $14 in profit per unit, instead of having to sell 10 units a day, we now have to sell 20 units a day uh, if we take these numbers in. And now we're making, you know, if we're doing 20 units a day, we're making $280 a day, and that is gonna hit our six-figure profit uh, goal with one product, okay? And now 20 units a day online, guys, that's not a lot of units. It might sound like a lot, but you know, the thing is the difference between online business and with a job is that with a job, you only get paid when you go to work. You only get paid when you show up and then you put in your seven, eight hours in there. And then when you go home, you don't get paid. But with an online business, um, you get paid 24 hours out of the day because you've got a sales page, you've got a store up there running and you know, your website, the website doesn't turn off when you go to sleep, the website is still running. And so that's why I think that online business is so amazing if you wanna pursue the freedom lifestyle and it will really give you that passive income that you're looking for if you know, you're, you're like tired of uh, working the nine to five if you know it's not the right path for you. And now the best part about online business is that you control your income and you control how much you make. So, so pretty much, you know, with the job, your boss controls how much you make. But with an online business, right, let's say that if we take those numbers, we know that for every $6, and, and once you have this realization, your whole life will change. When I had this realization, the rest of my life, and especially the rest of my, you know, income, and the rest of my income that I ever, that I ever was gonna make in my entire life, the whole idea changed. Because I realized if I can spend $6 to acquire a customer that's gonna give me $14 in profit uh, per unit for the $6 that I'm spending, I put six in, I take out 14, I know for a fact that's a money printing machine. Like, you know, you'd have to be stupid not to put in $6 to take out $14. And so there you go, that's how powerful online business is. If you know that you can spend $6 to take out $14 in profit, um, then, you know, you can actually scale up those ads. You can actually, you know, instead of spending $100 a day, just scale it up to $500 a day, $1,000 a day, because you know that the more money that you put into ads, the more of those, you know, $6 that you spend, right, you're gonna make more money. You're gonna make $14 profit for every one of those $6 that you spend. And so, you know, that's pretty much online business. Like, you control how much you make, you decide, all right, you know, and obviously sometimes it's easier uh, said than done, but with time, it will come to you. With time, you know, if you, if you really put your effort into anything for six months to a year, two years like guaranteed you will be successful there's just no other way and so now I talked about how to hit that six-figure mark in profit uh, and, and you can see that it really isn't that difficult right like I said it's one of the first milestones that you'll hit with your online business one of your first goals once you hit it you'll really realize like the massive scale of you know just how much you can go like how much further you can go with this and then you can also expand into parallel online businesses right we all know that the more streams of income you have the better but it's important to focus on um, you know, the income that you select. So Shopify right now, it's important to focus on Shopify until you do hit that six figures, right? Do not try and, you know, dabble or meddle into other, other things because you're just gonna be chasing too many things at once and, you know, you're just not gonna get any of them. And so now let's talk about some of the best secrets in 2019 that I've discovered and that I think are like, it's gonna pave the way forward. Like if the people that are gonna apply these secrets, they're gonna make way more than six figures, right? Six figures is gonna come like this. So, um, and, and the reason I left it for later in this video is because, you know, it's it, like the secrets, they're important, but everything else I said is also equally as important as well because now you understand everything, like how everything's gonna work, how you're gonna build that six-figure business, right? So the very first secret that I've discovered on Shopify that I'm gonna share with you today that is really gonna help you in 2019, it's gonna be a game changer, is you have to realize that a great customer experience plus a good product, right, that's the key to win. 
the customer experience is actually the most important. It's actually more important than the product itself. So, you know, uh, an amazing customer experience can actually, you know, quote unquote, hide a mediocre product. And obviously you want your product to be amazing, right? And um, one thing I forgot to mention is that the way we find our products, you might not be familiar, but it's through Alibaba.com or AliExpress.com. It's these websites and, and mostly it's gonna be AliExpress.com. You can go there, you can type in any product on there and you know, you're gonna find millions of them. You're gonna find millions of suppliers who are all ready to drop ship. And so, you know, that's the beauty of it. There are so many products out there. You can keep testing every single day, throw up new products. It's not like you have to pay for, you know, all these new products every single time you're testing. So on these websites, on AliExpress.com specifically, you're gonna find a wide variety of products. You're gonna find, you know, products of various quality, right? Like you wanna always try to find the high quality. You know, there's always the low quality China, and then there's always the high quality China, right? So you're gonna find like the cheap quality uh, on there, and you're also gonna find very good quality. And it's obviously gonna be more expensive. I always prefer to have, you know, high quality products, but, make sure you have a great customer experience because if your product is like, you know, it's meh, it's okay, but obviously there's money to be made, then obviously create that Shopify store and, you know, make sure that the customer experience is amazing. So make sure the website is amazing, make sure that the branding looks awesome, right? And there's actually a way to put your uh, custom brand on it as well. Uh, that will come later when you're actually doing bulk orders. Um, you know, so, you know, once you find a product and you know that it's making you money and you're doing like thousands of orders a month, then you can just bulk order from the supplier because there's no risk. And so that way you can actually go and you can tell your supplier, hey, can we put this logo onto the product, right? So that's part of customer experience. And also you can get your supplier to put in like custom inserts into the product as well. You can have your supplier do like a box design and you, you obviously provide the box design, but just make the product look amazing, especially when the customer opens it up, right? The better that you make it look, you know, the, the, the higher the, the customer experience, right? And also we're gonna get to this in one of the other secrets, but uh, you wanna make sure that when your customer buys your product, right? That's when it like the, the journey, the customer journey just begins, right? A lot of people think that when your customer buys your product, well, that's it. You've got the money. Now let's try to find another customer. And that's not going to work in 2019. It might, but it won't be sustainable. So you want to take your customer on a journey. And we do that through some of the other things I'm going to mention here in a second. So this brings us to secret number two, which is have an amazing backend, right? What a backend is what goes on behind the scenes after customer buys, right? So the backend is the most important thing on Shopify dropshipping in 2019. And that's gonna be one of the most valuable. That's literally gonna make this video, you know, all this time that you spend watching this video, that alone is gonna make it worth your while. If not for all the other stuff I've been saying here, but you wanna have an amazing backend. How you have an amazing backend is when your customer buys, you can use, for example, MailChimp or any other, you know, email marketing uh, tool for Shopify. It's on the Shopify app store. Um, you can integrate it with your Shopify store. And that way you can take your customers like through an automated email sequence, which is pretty much you pre-program like an email sequence. So, you know, when they buy, they get a, like a thank you for ordering. And then one day after they get an automatic email from your store saying, hey, um, you know, like uh, we've got all these other products here. You can actually go and send them promotions. You can send them deals, right? You can cross market other products, right? So the lifetime customer value is where you'll win with Shopify in 2019 and beyond. All right, lifetime customer value. Everybody knows lifetime customer value is the most important. So, you know, that's why you want to make sure that um, you're getting the customer's email. You have an amazing backend going on. So you're doing retargeting ads as well, which if you're, you know, this might be a little bit too advanced for where you're at right now. Don't worry about it. You'll get there. But you just want to make sure that, you know, you understand when your customer buys your product, right? You have to keep your customer coming back. Right? And there's a lot of different ways to do that. You can build out funnels with click funnels for your products on Shopify. You can run deals, coupons, market that through emails, right? So build up your email list. And now the third secret, and I've actually absolutely killed it this Q4 with this third secret, and that is social media influencers, all right? Social media influencers, yes, still in 2019, are so underpriced, they have no idea. You can pay a social media influencer with hundreds of thousands of followers in your particular niche on Instagram. You know, like literally uh, I paid uh, one social media influencer, I think it was a thousand dollars, right? And that social media influencer, on that $1,000 that I paid, brought me back a 100X to 150X return. I don't remember exactly what it was, but you know, just go and find social media influencers and record ads with them, record story ads, you know, and, and videos and things like that. Have them promote your product on their pages, right? And this is super cheap compared to the sales you're gonna get. So that's another huge secret. Now, secret number four, I'm just dropping value right here. Secret number four is to um, also make sure that uh, to entice people to buy more uh, quantity of your uh, product, let's say it's something that, you know, um, like maybe, maybe someone can buy 
buy two or three of them, but they just need a little bit of an extra push. You can advertise on your sales page for your product. You can put like, hey, 10% off if you buy two, 15% off if you buy three, or like 20% off four, and then you know the higher the quantity, the more uh, percent off. And there is like apps for Shopify that you can actually go, uh, I forgot what it's called, I think it's called uh, it's like discount or something, but pretty much will automatically apply that discount and that will you know get your customers to buy more, right? Because you know, and the, the best part about that is that for every single additional unit, you don't have to pay, like you only pay that Facebook ad cost once. That's $6, you only have to pay that once. When your customer's already on the site, if you can do your best to have the customer buy more than one unit, that $6 doesn't change, but your profit goes up. Now, instead of $14 profit, you can make 28, you know, and more. So there you go. And now that brings me to the last secret, which is emulate success. Look, you know, keep your eyes open and look for successful Shopify stores that you know are making money. If you're constantly seeing ads on Facebook or on Instagram, then obviously that Shopify store is making money. Go look at their strategy, go buy their product, right? Look at the packaging, look at what they're doing and then take those ideas and then create your own, right? So there you go. That's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Actually, if you enjoyed this video, go right down below, write in Shopify dropshipping. Just write that, Shopify dropshipping, and that will show me that you guys enjoyed this video. And also, I got a ton of useful links down below. There's actually the Shopify Freedom Entrepreneur Facebook group, which is the absolute most motivated and best uh, Shopify Facebook group on the internet. So you can go and join it. The link is right down below as well as a lot of other useful links in there. So hope you guys enjoy. Follow me on social media, Instagram and Snapchat. I'll see you guys soon. Now go and take action because if you just just go and watch like some cat videos right now. Nothing's going to happen. All right. Nothing's going to change in your life. Go and take action. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.